North America is home to some of the most spectacular mammals on Earth. Powerful predators, resilient survivors, and creatures that have adapted to some of the most extreme environments on this planet. This video contains a list of all the big game animals that call this continent home. There is a complex layer of species and subspecies within some of these families. I will be including most, but not all, of some of the subspecies as it can get really complicated to classify every single subspecies. Also, please note that the range maps associated with each species aren't perfectly accurate, but they should display a general idea of where each species is found. The white-tailed deer is the most common big game animal in North America. Mature bucks in the south can weigh as little as 100 pounds, and bucks in the north can weigh upwards of 300 pounds. In general, white-tailed deer have forward-facing antlers, and this can help distinguish them from other species of deer. The coos deer, or the coos white-tailed deer, is the white-tail's little cousin. It has much smaller antlers than the common white-tail does. The coos weighs significantly less and is found in Arizona, New Mexico, and Mexico. Its range has little overlap with white-tails. Mule deer, the larger cousin to the white-tailed deer, usually weigh 150 to as much as 400 pounds. Mule deer are mostly found in the west, midwest, and northward into Canada. The mule deer has upward-facing antlers, unlike the white-tailed deer that has forward-facing antlers. More elusive than the larger members of the deer family, Colombian black-tailed deer can be found along the west coast. They look very similar to mule deer, only much smaller. They range from 150 pounds to 200 pounds at maturity and have fairly small antlers. The Sitka black-tailed deer is even more elusive than the Columbia black-tail. The Sitka is only found on the coastal regions of western Canada and southwestern Alaska. These deer weigh approximately 150 to 175 pounds at maturity and have even smaller antlers than the other subspecies. The Brocket deer is the smallest deer in North America. There are two common species, the red brocket and the gray-brown brocket. These deer commonly only stand at about 18 to 20 inches at the shoulder and weigh about 22 to 30 pounds. They are found in southern Mexico and Central America. Roosevelt elk are found in Northern California, Washington, Oregon, and British Columbia. There's also a small population in Alaska. Mature males can weigh more than a thousand pounds. The Rocky Mountain species is somewhat smaller than its Roosevelt cousin, but its antlers are generally longer. Mature bulls can weigh more than 900 pounds and are typically very aggressive during the rut. They're common throughout the western states and even in some eastern states. The Rocky Mountain elk is the most common elk on this list. In contrast, the Thule elk is the least common of the three elk species. They are far fewer in number than they once were, and they can only be found in California. They're much smaller in weight and antler size than the Rocky Mountain or Roosevelt elk. Weighing approximately 1,500 pounds, the Canada moose is the third largest mammal in North America. It ranges across each of the Canadian provinces and several northern U.S. states. The Shirus moose is the smallest of the three North American moose species, and it has relatively smaller antlers. It's found in Colorado, Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, Montana, Washington, and southern Alberta and British Columbia. The largest of the moose species is the Alaskan Yukon moose at more than 1,800 pounds. This is North America's second largest animal, and it can only be found in northwestern Canada and Alaska. The barren ground caribou lives in northwestern Canada and Alaska. A typical herd can number 100,000 strong and can migrate hundreds of miles in a year. Fairly large in size, they range from 400 to more than 500 pounds. You'll find the central Canadian barren ground caribou in the tundra of north central Canada. These animals vary in size, weighing anywhere from 225 to 475 pounds. The woodland caribou lives in central and eastern Canada. These generally weigh 325 to 450 pounds, and they have the smallest antlers of all the caribou except for those residing in the Arctic Islands. Also, they don't migrate quite as far as the other caribou. Next is the Quebec Labrador caribou. 
this subspecies generally weighs about 325 to 450 pounds. Currently, they're not doing well, and their numbers are lower than normal. They are highly migratory and only inhabit northeastern Canada. The Arctic Island caribou is the smallest of the caribou. Mature bulls generally weigh 2 to 300 pounds and have the lightest coloration of any caribou. Their winter coat is nearly all white, and the summer coat is a light shade of brown. The antler velvet is gray rather than the usual brown color. The mountain caribou is the heaviest of all the caribou, weighing as much as 600 pounds and sporting very large antlers. Herds are generally smaller and found in western Canada and northwestern parts of the U.S. Found in the coastal regions of northern Canada is the musk ox. The musk ox gets its name from an intense odor that it puts off. It also has hair longer than any other animal, with hair as long as 40 inches. Big males can weigh 700 to 750 pounds. The American bison is the biggest animal on this list and has a great historical significance for the Native Americans and early settlers. Bison mostly live on the open prairie, but have since been introduced to other mountain ranges. Big males can weigh more than 2,000 pounds. You can find these massive animals in Mexico, Canada, and the U.S. The American mountain goat resides in the northwestern U.S. and western Canada at very high elevations. Populations also extend up into Alaska. A big male goat will weigh anywhere from 225 to 300 pounds. The American pronghorn lives throughout the western half of the United States and northward into southern Canada. An adult male will weigh about 120 to 130 pounds, and they can run from 40 to 50 miles per hour for miles on end. They can also sprint at speeds of up to 60 miles per hour, making them the fastest land animal in North America. The beautiful white doll sheep is found in the Alaskan mountains of the northern Yukon. It is also found in northwestern British Columbia and the Mackenzie Mountains. Doll sheep can vary in size and weight, and their horns are more slender and longer than the other subspecies of sheep. The stone sheep is found in northern British Columbia and southern portions of the Yukon, inhabiting mostly alpine and glacial regions. They often feed in the meadows. They can vary in color, and mature rams usually weigh around 200 pounds. The desert bighorn sheep has many subspecies. You'll find the desert bighorn in desert mountain ranges, hence the name. Known for their ability to go days without water, they can be found in California, Arizona, Nevada, Colorado, Texas, Utah, and New Mexico. They're also found in various parts of northern Mexico. Size varies with habitat, but these sheep tend to be smaller than their high mountain cousins. The largest of the bighorn sheep is the Rocky Mountain Bighorn. They range all along the Rocky Mountains and into southern Alberta and British Columbia. Mature rams will weigh anywhere from 200 to 300 pounds. The California Bighorn is considerably smaller than the Rocky Mountain Bighorn, with rams of the same age weighing as much as 50 pounds less. The horns are shorter and less massive, but tend to have more flair. The ears are longer and the coat is not as heavy, and the color is lighter, being more gray than brown. Somewhat of an oddball on this list, we have the Atlantic Walrus, which is found in Hudson Bay and the waters around Baffin Island. It is also found up along the coasts of Greenland. The male length of a walrus is 9 to 11 feet. Their weight is 1,800 to 2,000 pounds. Females are about two-thirds of the size of males, with slimmer tusks that are only 60% as long. By far the most numerous of the bear species on this list is the black bear. It ranges across more than 35 U.S. states, Canada, and parts of Mexico. Adult males can weigh more than 500 pounds, but in southern climates where the bears don't need to hibernate, some are reaching weights of more than 700 pounds. Perhaps the most famous bear, the grizzly, is also one of the smartest bear species. You can find them in Alaska, western Canada, and the northwestern U.S. Grizzlies don't see well, but they have very good noses and can run faster than 30 miles per hour. These bears usually weigh anywhere from 500 to 800 pounds. The polar bear is the biggest bear species. The polar bear inhabits the Arctic and lives on both ice and land. Populations are the densest around coastal areas as polar bears hunt seals. Adult males can weigh upwards of 1,000 pounds. The Alaskan brown bear resides in Alaska and southward along the Canadian coast. 
This bear is generally a light brown to chocolate color and can weigh 750 to 1,000 pounds. Other than the polar bear, it is the largest land predator in the world. One of the most elusive of all big game carnivores, the cougar has unparalleled stealth. Like the black bear, it's extremely adaptable. It has been found in Canada, Mexico, and more than 30 US states. Male cats can weigh anywhere from 100 to 175 pounds. Another oddball on this list that many people may not think of when they hear the term big game is the American alligator. This is the only animal on this list that isn't a mammal. It's found in the southeastern US, and this predator is usually seen at 6 to 12 feet. However, a length of 18 feet is possible. I love making these videos because of how it expands my knowledge and helps me deepen my understanding of these wonderful animals that we have around us. I also love seeing my viewers have a positive interaction with my content as they like, subscribe, and comment. If you feel up to supporting me by doing any of the following, I would greatly appreciate it. And also, if you've enjoyed this video, please make sure to check out the other list videos that I have made. Thanks, and I'll see you on the next one.